I'm going to walk you through balancing a, a redox reaction in basic solution. This is going to be our example. We're taking dichromate, we're adding chloride to it. It turns into a chromium hydroxide and a chlorine. Now, chloride could be further oxidized from chlorine into hypochlorite, into chlorite, and maybe even perchlorate, depending on the concentrations. Now, since we're in basic, we have hydroxide ions available and water molecules available to help us balance because those are part of your solution. So what you want to do first is you want to take the two things that are similar and separate them from the other two things that are similar into what are called half reactions. And we're going to balance these by themselves. This is going to help us balance the charge systematically. So it looks like a lot of work, but it really starts to get redundant after a little bit, and it helps to kind of systematize this. First thing you want to do is you want to balance anything that's not hydrogen or oxygen. And usually there's only one or two things. Chromium, I have two here. I only have one here, that's a problem, I'm going to put a two there. Okay. After that, you're going to balance your oxygens. Okay, so I have seven oxygens here, and I have six here. So I need another oxygen, and to do that, I'm going to get a water molecule and put it there for my seventh oxygen on both sides. Now, for basic, I think the best thing to do is to pretend it's acidic until the very end. So to balance the hydrogens, rather than doing waters on one side and hydroxides on the other, we're just going to add H pluses to one side. I have eight hydrogens on this side. So I'm going to add eight hydrogens to this side. All right, and now all of my atoms for this are balanced. We'll look at the charge in a second. On the bottom equation, I have two chlorides that become chlorine gas. Uh, that's really all I need for my balancing. I don't have any oxygens or hydrogens. And then with that, I'm going to need two electrons over here to balance the charge. Okay. For back to the top one, I have eight plus charges and a two minus charge. So currently I have six plus on the one side. And on the other side I have neutral uh, salts and molecules, so I have no charge on the other side. So I'm off by six. So I'm going to put six electrons right here for the rest of this equation. Now, at this point what I want to do is I want to combine these two reactions. But in order to get the charges to balance when I do, I need the electrons to be the same in both. So this bottom reaction is going to get tripled. So instead of two chlorides, it's going to be six chlorides. Instead of one chlorine molecule, it's going to be three chlorine molecules, and six electrons instead of two. When that happens and I add these together, that will make everything else balance in terms of charge. So now I'm going to go through and add everything together. The six electrons will cancel, and I'll end up with eight H pluses, one dichromate ion, six chlorides, and then I will end up with two of the chromium hydroxides. And then I'll end up with a water and three chlorine molecules. Now at that point, I'm, I'm done if I'm in acidic, but obviously I'm not. Uh, for basic, what I want to now do is I want to get rid of the H pluses. And to get rid of the H pluses, all you do is you add however many of those there are, you add that many hydroxides to both sides so that nothing changes kind of like a Lagrange multiplier here. The eight hydroxides on the left are going to neutralize the AH pluses to form eight waters. So these become eight water molecules. And then the eight hydroxides over here just stay as is. Now the eight waters on that side, and I have a water over here, this is going to end up canceling. And instead of eight net, I will end up with seven. So my very final reaction is all the things canceled out. I end up with seven water molecules plus a dichromate plus six chlorides becomes two of the chromium hydroxides. The water canceled, but I still have my eight hydroxides and three chlorine gas molecules. Now at this point you want to do two things. You want to make sure that all of your numbers add up. I have 14 hydrogens and I have 14 hydrogens. I have 7, 14 oxygens and I have 14 oxygens. 6 chlorines, 6 chlorines, 2 chromiums, 2 chromiums. You also want to double check the charge. I have a 2 minus and then 6 more minus. I have 8 minus on the left and I have 8 negative charges on the right and therefore I know that I'm balanced. That's how you want to go through and attack this, and the end goal is to get both your mass and your charge to be balanced when you're done with the whole reaction.